Hey everybody, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios. I hope you guys can see this because I've done this the best way as I could. I'm actually using a video cassette replayer um, to actually do this. But let's get started with today's video. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you on how, guys on how to ins install your external storage um, uh, uh, on your PS4. And this is what you basically need. You're going to need you're going to need a external hard drive casing. Um, this one I got for about. 320, I think five bucks. 325 was on sale. I'll have the link in the description if you want to check it out um, for yourselves. But this is actually a 3.0 um, um, hard disk drive um, enclosure, and you're going to need. It's going to come with this small one, um, this small 3.0 USB. I hope you guys can see it. And this USB connects to this to the PS4 directly to the PS4. What you're also going to need is a hard drive disk, which requires you to instantly um, to be the minimum of requirements to use a hard disk drive is 250 gigabytes or more so this is a 250 gigabyte um, hard drive um, you can get one on, if, on eBay for cheap if you if you find one cheaper um, or you can get off your old console if you have an old console laying around that you no longer need it, need or use and that's pretty much what you need if you also want optional you can also grab a four USB hub this is you can get on sale on eBay for really really cheap. I think I, last time I think no no I didn't get this on eBay. I think I believe this about this at Walmart. It was like I believe like like ten twenty five bucks. I'm not fully sure when I bought this, but I did buy that. Remember I did buy this uh, at um um at Walmart. You can buy one easy simply, and this was made specifically for PS4. Um, I bought this because originally I knew at some point I needed this, but this is just optional, guys. You don't necessarily need this unless you're just trying to plug in more than two USBs. Then I recommend this. As well, this usually, this usually comes with a longer USB cable of the same one as this one, but you know, optionally, if you're not going to use a four USB hub and you have this one, you can use a longer version that extends the smaller one so you can place your hard drive uh, anywhere around next to the PS4. And that's basically it. We're going to continue on with the next step of how to install this, and the next step is we're going to do is to be able to to place your hard drive safely into your enclosure. So you have in your enclosure you have in your enclosure a little hub, a little stub right here. You have up you see like the little components there, and then this you can't remove. Don't ever remove this um, to try to place it in because you can break it. But you can also take this hard drive. All you need to do is take this hard drive, place it like upwards face the face plate up, and then all you need to do is slide it in, place it slowly, force it forward, and then place it down. Make sure it's, it's, it's secured securely, um, securely onto this. Don't put it to any pressure onto the top here. Once you're actually done, you need to take your casing and you need to just place it on. On in the out over the enclosure which it came from, um, don't be afraid of pressing down. Um, I know a lot of people will probably be kind of kind of skeptical of doing it because they're afraid that might damage the the hard drive. But it's perfectly normal. Just 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 snap on the sides. Don't don't snap on the middle because you can damage on um, the hard drive. Just snap on the sides and you'll be all done. You're all set. And we're gonna go and hook this up to the PS4 and show you how to use it. All right, now that we have my PS4, I know you guys can't probably see if you have any lighting issues or anything like that. I do apologize in advance, but this is the best lighting I can get, and I do apologize in advance. So the first thing you want to do is, is to be able onto your PS4, make sure you actually go into devices, meaning that if you want to go to settings and you go to like system settings, then you go into going to all the way down to devices. Um, click the wrong one. Then you go down to devices and then you go all the way down to USB storage devices. You'll see that there's a USB storage is not connected. So now we gotta go down to the PS4. And as you said previously, um, I showed you on how to how to set it up and show you how you know it works. You need to make sure that the that actually this this thing is actually formatted. If you don't if you don't have it formatted, the best thing you need to do is go on your computer. It needs to be on Windows 7. I, I recommend Windows 7. Windows 10 has some issues of recognizing this, so don't bother of trying to format this because it's just going to you create a pool, and then the PS4 will still not recognize this. So just remember you doing this. Do this on Windows 10. So all you need is just format to ex fat. I'll have all of the information what you need to all, all the formats you need to 
to set, set and I'll uh, to set for to have this set up. And once you guys are set it up, the PS4 can recognize it, and that's pretty much it. I won't have any detailed instructions on how to do it, but if you want me to make another tutorial on how to do this and how to format your hard drive instantly then, um, and get it set up, then I'll show you the direct details. Just remember that this is that once you use this on your PS4, is encrypted and you cannot de un de un decrypt it. So basically, whenever you set this to your PS4, this can only be used for the PS4, not your computer. Your computer will not allow it unless you have some sort of, uh, if you go to like the value utility and then you just use your computer blah 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 so you want to choose a position where your hard drive is going to set make sure it's facing upwards where the hard drive was up at the first time place it i said i place mine next to my ps4 just to give it everything like that and I, I know you guys can't see that very well but you guys should will then take the usb side and you didn't make match it with the ps4 sometimes you might have to turn the bend the ps4 and then you just instantly push it in you should see a light on you depending on your model of your of your hard drive and then you will see this this, uh, this like, option you'll see the name mine's product because it was it had a previous thing and there's about 84 gigabytes in use of it so that's basically my data and stuff like that so it's a format for ps4 and um the vendor is like blah 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 because i got this on ebay so you have these options so now what you how do you get this to be to be used now it's gonna say for me it's saying stop using extended storage because i have already configured it for the ps4 to do it so what will happen so when you plug it in um it's going to give you a notification it's going to give you a notification that uh that oh like i think i can find it hopefully it shows up like it before um because i know a lot of people uh sending me it's sending me a lot of invitations i don't know if it shows up for me guys but um it probably doesn't but um hold on let me see if i no no not, not it but um when you get actually do get notifications about information about it you click on it and then it's ask you to format your it will prepare it to be used. And once it's done, you, you instantly now have an external hard drive. Just remember when you do do this, it's gonna reset the uh, the default location of where applications install, and it's gonna set it. So if you want to set it to any kind of storage you specifically want, such so as if you want to store it in internal storage or external storage, just head over to storage, and you will see two of your partition system storage and extended storage. So right now I'm using 80, 85.70, that's like 86 gigabytes of 400 or 500, about 500 gigabyte hard drive. And then out of my system storage, I'm only using 365 gigabytes out of, out of one terabyte. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the reason why my mind is a little bit higher because I have Black Ops 3 and that takes out the majority of the storage, but other than that, it's just pretty lower than that. But if you want to change the location where you can see application install location, you just press options over any, and it doesn't matter which location you put, and you click inst application install location, and then you can choose from extended storage or system storage. I choose to have mine inst into system storage because I don't know if it's going to affect the say I don't know how it works, and this is my first time actually using it, but that's pretty much it. Just remember, if you want to find the format, correct formats that you need to have to repair your hard drive, um, then on Windows 7, I recommend this because it works way better, the best, and it easily works as a USB stick, and you can format it that way. But other than that, if you guys want to see the format of what you need to have it before the PS4 does format it, um, links, all that information is in the description. If you guys found this informational, informational, sorry guys, um, then don't forget to drop a like because it helps a lot because I did take took a lot of time to do this. Just remember that you um that never if you have a game it's moved in here then you pretty much don't want to disconnect it while you're playing it because it can cause a really catastrophic and corrupt your data or even worse damage the hard drive so if you guys want to actually move games to your your uh your hard drive you need to go into storage and go into wherever the game you it, it's placed and you need to press options over it and then click to move to extended storage i'm not going to do this because it would take long too long but um i've done this pretty much like all, most of the majority of the day and you can see in this extended storage we have about like 374 gigabytes left and which is not bad and i have all my basic applications from share factory youtube spotify netflix minecraft and so i also had a I mean, infinite warfare is in here because i don't want it to waste my internal storage even though it's a, it's a crappy cod but 
that's how you guys do it. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm sorry for the bad quality of the video camera. This camera doesn't do very well, but other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.